Good afternoon, everyone. This is Henry with SimplerTrading.com, and in tonight's free video, I wanted to share something with you, an option strategy that I think is worth your time to learn or at least to consider uh, in this particular situation. Now, I am not bearish on the market. I would say that for a while now, we have been best served by continuing to follow the trend, but the market is prone to elevated volatility after the July monthly expiration. Tomorrow, or Friday, depending on when you're watching this, is the monthly expiration. So after that day passes, I mean, you've seen some of it this week, right, and a little bit last week. Into next week, we could see a fair amount of vol uh, volatility, and that could put a little pressure on the markets. Now, there's a strategy that I like that will work out great if the markets do pull back, but if we keep moving higher, as long as we don't explode straight up, then this will be an accommodating way of looking at the markets. So, I'm stepping out here into the 36 day out options, which are probably further you know, than you would need to go, but I'm just going out to the monthlies to make my selection easy. A lot of times I will do this uh, using the Delta 20 option, but that lands us at 447. And I'd like to try to emphasize a couple of points of this strategy by just going up into the 450. You know, these are strategies that sometimes I'll say this as a strategy that is guaranteed to make you money, which of course you have to be incredibly careful when you say anything like that. There are no guarantees in the market. But if you understand the risk reward and if you understand everything you're getting involved with, let's say at a 10 cent credit, right? Which is an incredibly modest credit. But at the same time, what this spread does is it gives us 16 points, 15 points of upside, right? The maximum profit potential is achieved at 450. So if over the next 36 days, we just keep grinding higher into that level, the spread will do well there. At the same time, if the S&P is correct, and we do see some type of a pullback next week, or maybe the week after that, this trade has no risk to the downside. So the S&Ps could go to zero, and you're still going to take in that modest credit. So it works well a little higher. It works great sideways and down. The only way that you really lose money with this trade is if the S&Ps continue directly straight up. And if they do, if you get above that 453 strike, well, at least you do have limited and defined risk. But this is one way that you can nibble on some trades to get yourself a little bit of exposure that works well in most situations. And if you wake up to the S&Ps down 60 or 80 handles, you're not having to worry about it in the least. So I hope that gives you some food for thought, some good strategies to consider over the next 36 days. And we'll touch base on some of this in some of the future free videos. Without simpler trading, I could not have financial independence. This is one of the best investments that I ever made in my life. It's helping me find consistency. It's one of the things that won me.